Hello everyone and welcome back to Orange Studios. I am Inju and in today's tutorial we are going to do a breakdown of this flyer. We are going to look at how I went about doing this, um, the 3D, which I would probably do another tutorial on how to do this. Um, just a rough sketch for the purpose of the tutorial, nothing serious, nothing fancy. And um, yes, so we are going to do a breakdown of this, um, how it was achieved. The fact that you can even use different backgrounds to achieve something different. I mean, so we are going to play around with things, uh, rearrange things, and, and see how it goes. So stay around while we discover things together. Let's go back here. And for the purpose of this tutorial, I want to make it a quick and easy one. The elements are already here. I've already scattered them. So these are the elements that was used. Because there are three, I told you I was just experimenting, just a rough sketch to get us doing something. So these are the elements I used. Um, yes. Well, so we are going to rearrange every one of this and we see how it's going to go. Let's jump in. So as usual, we start by creating a shape over our canvas area, or we can also come over here and then select a solid color edit it and make it as we want but uh, it's quick and easy probably i find this useful I'm comfortable working with this so we create a shape select the shape tool and then create a shape over the canvas area and now we are going to edit the um, the shape here and pick a color that is comfortable we are comfortable working with or would suit the work we are doing so double click on the layer thumbnail and then edit the color so this is the color i'm going to work with the next thing we are going to do is to drop in um, this so i'm going to drop in the either either the sky or the landscape so let's drag them here so we are either going to work with this or we are going to work with this but let's start off with this okay so let's stretch this to cover you can press and hold the shift key so that it extends well okay now let's stretch to cover perfect now let's apply a layer mask to this so select this layer and then click the layer mask add layer mask um, select the brush to make sure the foreground color here is set to black so you can switch by using this or the X key on the keyboard and then you increase the size of the brush by using the open or close bra uh, square brackets and then you erase so let's increase the opacity here so let's erase quickly all right so with this done the next thing we are going to do if we're going to work with this too, if we wanted to work with this, we'd have done the same thing to that. So we can copy the layer mask here and paste it on the So press and hold the Alt key and then drag, click and drag the layer mask onto this. So we have it applied. So you don't necessarily have to do it all over again if you're applying the same layer mask on another layer. Um, let's do this. Let's select this layer. We can apply a Gaussian blur. So we move over to filter move to blur apply a gaussian blur and then let's increase it to let's say let's say 14 will be okay all right so the next thing we are going to drop in here bear in mind we are creating the background so we started by creating the shape we added a picture applied some few effects applied some layer mask maxed out some area now we are also going to add this texture to it so it's just addition it's not compulsory you work with this texture though but just to add some dimension to the work we are going to add so we are taking it below the sky then we'll stretch it a little so this should be fine so now we are going to change the blend mode for the leather texture from normal to luminosity all right we are going to change the opacity from 100 to let's say a 40. So one more thing with the background, this is what we are going to do. We are going to um, apply a new layer. This particular layer here, click on this to apply a new layer. And then we are going to activate the brush tool. 
let's pick a color from the background because we want to kind of create a, a vignette around this area okay so let's select uh, press and hold the alt key to activate the eyedropper tool and then click just to select the color then we can edit it make it a bit darker okay usually you can work with black if you are creating a veneer but um i think it's safe to work with a color that is close to this so let's reduce the opacity take it down to say eight and do it gradually so as you move on you increase the increase or reduce the opacity So basically it's easy i mean this is simple with this we are done with the background we just have to add a few elements and we'll be done with the design just before i drop in the image i wanted you to know how you can quickly or easily select a subject or crop out an image from the background so with this particular one here um you just move over here it's not too complicated i mean the background is not too complicated it's fairly very defined so you move over here to select all right and then you select subject the software itself will select the subject which is in focus and in this case it's this image right here so with the selection done let me zoom in so we can see all right so with this selection done you can copy and paste and you have it cropped out but you can tell that it's not properly defined so you can quickly do a quick retouch or quick um proper definition of the edges by pressing the kill key on the keyboard and then it has this red masking out here right so you realize that even in the spectacle this side was not selected so what you can do is to probably activate the brush tool and then make sure once you activate the brush tool the color seal will change from black and to from any other color to black and white right let's change it to black so x to switch between black and white or you press on this key okay so we pick the uh, the 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 black or the make the foreground color black and then let's reduce the size of the brush to something very small so then we can select here all right we'll make sure the opacity is high so there you go And we have our selection done so to move out of this mode you press the kill button again you press the kill button again to move out of it and that is how you go about it so we move out and we have our selection so ctrl c to copy and ctrl v to paste so in this case we have the image nicely selected and there we go that's how the cropping is done so let's move out of this all right so with that put aside we are now going to select our image which is the very reverend um istudanaba drop him in the background i did a quick retouch on the image so it's fairly touched okay and i'm going to leave it in this position because i want it to really stand out i want this image to really really stand out so i'm going to leave it here then i'm going to apply a layer max but let's take it above and like i always say make sure you put everything in groups so we are basically done with the background all right so let's put every one of them in a group now we are going to apply a layer max to this so let's select this we'll select the layer first make sure it's selected you know it's selected when it's highlighted so select this click the add layer mask once again select the brush tool now you increase the size of the brush because we want to do a lot of cleaning here at this point we can leave it like this because we've not yet dropped in the theme which we are going to use to cover this part of the body so to do that let's go back to our resource files here okay so we have this option we have that option and we have this option so either one goes you can go with any of them but 
let's see this would work because it, it matches with the blue okay it matches with the blue and but this would probably stand out the most because it's not seen as what is here so it will actually stand out so let's begin our edit work on the title or the theme by creating some drop down shadows for this and creating an extra shadow behind it so let's do this so let's create double click on the right side and then select drop down shadow um, you can work with this we just want to make sure that it gives it some something to set on that's why we are creating the drop sh drop down shadow and let's do this uh, and, um, probably this should be enough okay yep this should be enough now the next thing we are going to do is to add a layer so let's click here to create a new layer take it behind um, activate the brush tool and then bear in mind we would have to edit this or we can even maintain this and then let's paint gently so let's reduce opacity first and then paint gently below so this is what we are doing all right so now it gives it some firm grounds to set kind of well it's not really a firm ground but kind of gives it a certain balance makes it sit well so let's do this okay so now with this done we are going back to this and we are going to create some some layers um we are going to try and correct the brightness and contrast of this just a little we add some hue and saturation and then we will add a little bit more so let's start with the brightness okay so come over here click and then select brightness and contrast click this to clip mask it to this or you can press and hold the alt key and take your mouse between these two layers to clip it so that's it now let's do this change the brightness all right so you realize it's coming down let's take it to a stream and you see what happens take it to a stream you see what happens so basically that's what we are trying to we are trying to add some brightness but not too much so something small like this and add some contrast all right so you realize that this see the before and after all right before and after after it's making it stand out a bit more all right now so let's add some curve to it so let's come over here and select curve so caps once again we want to clip it to this so we click on this to clip then we're going to take this a bit up we are adding some highlights and we are going to touch the shadows just a little bit not too much just a little so now let's see the before and after the caps and then before and after the entire effect all right so one more thing we are now going to add the hue and saturation some hue and saturations i'm doing this because i just wanted to stand up a little bit more you realize the gold here it's not really popping out so you do your 3d in cinema 4d but you come to photoshop and enhance the look of your work so we are going to add or subtract some red from the yellow right or even add if you want it so let's just clip first then just move a little so you either add or subtract whichever one works for you so let's see if this is okay let's see the before and after before and after we could actually let's edit this and make it zero okay and then actually select just the yellow so you move over change it from master then you edit individual color so let, let's just touch the yellow okay so then we can edit just the yellows in the design okay so let's add a bit more color to this let's see this is okay all right now so let's step back and have a look at how it's looking now okay so now let's put every one of this in a group again we're going to call it a title put everything in a group and name it so title now the next significant thing we are going to do is to create um, a flag that will hold the logo so a uh, simple let's create a new shape so select the rectangles tool and then create a shape here all right um, let's 
select the direct select tool okay so the direct select tool not the path select tool direct select tool let's click this and then probably shift it a little so let's shift it a little then shift so it looks like it's thin from top and broadens when it comes down okay so the next thing we are going to do back to the pen tool or select the pen tool and then add anchor point so we are going to add one here and add another one here okay so let's select the direct select tool again and then just move this up move this down and we have this curve form all right so step one of the flag is done now the next thing we are going to do is to add this texture to it all right so let's bring it in here uh, let's turn it off first and change the color of this to something let's think somewhere we can even pick a color from this one so let's go about like this and pick a color from this one like this or we can go with this particular color here which is a darker version of what we have here all right now we can turn this on and then press and hold the alt key take your mouse between these two layers once you see the arrow click to clip it to this and then we are going to change the blend mode for this from normal to overlay yeah either overlay or this but overlay is okay uh, the next thing we are going to do is to duplicate this layer here so Control j to duplicate let's take this one up and then you to bring out the shape tool uh, click on this to bring out the shape tool come over here to fill Se select the fill and then cancel out the fill move out to stroke and then add some stroke so we can pick this okay as a stroke or you can move over here and add a gradient so you can add a gold gradient to it and then you can increase the thickness of the stroke five should be okay all right now let's control t to bring a transform and then reduce the size of this particular shape so let's drop it a little immediately you add these details to it you basically you are done but you can do this you can also add um, a drop down shadow to this all right so let's select this double click this shape here and add a drop down shadow to it mm, nice okay so let's reduce a little and now we can right click here not on the layer exactly but in here where the effects are right click they select create layer okay so the shadow now drops down and it's a separate layer from the shape and we can now manipulate it by using this select this so you can have it hang out like this so the shadow is kind of hanging out okay so that it doesn't fall flat below it that kind of gives it a bit more depth okay like this So we go back like this and looks like this all right now one thing we can do is to add a bit more depth to this side okay so we are going to create a layer and then apply apply some shadows here and it will be done all right so at this point pay attention to the password to the freebies that is going to be given most of you just download the freebies and never take your time to go through the videos after we spend a lot of time to create this content for you so if you've not watched it to this part then sorry you don't have the password so this is the password c r o o v e all in uppercase c r o o v e all in uppercase now let's show some lights here we can add some light so that is the reason for this particular gentleman here so let's drop him here all right we're going to take him up 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 up
this reduces a little and change the blend mode for this from normal to screen okay so you can't tell much because the background is already lit now we are going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl j we take it above so that what we are going to do now is make it the create the illusion that the sun best is coming from behind him and we do that so ctrl t to bring a transform reduce it and then take it somewhere here all right so this is not a compulsory thing you can you, you should add to it you can choose whether or not to add them and then you can bring another one here so ctrl j to duplicate and bring the second one here all right so there we go with this we can also create another one so ctrl j to duplicate again and then take this somewhere here so let's move this above the title all right and place it here ctrl t let's stretch it to cover all right something like this just to keep our text here a bit warm no problem at all with the brightness so we're going to reduce the opacity from 100 to something like this the only thing left is the info down here and to do that we'll do this just drop it to save time i mean i just dropped it here so we can save time but this is it with the info you have here and that so you can adjust things as you go you can make them yours i mean make it yours i mean and uh, edit it make it um, look good take your time if this is not too good for you you can edit it and all of that but this is it this is how far we've come and i hope you enjoyed you can put the name of the man of god in here and that's also quite easy all you do is this just drop the name and that's it that's it all right now so let's take a good look at the work and see what we've done here so tell me which which would you prefer let's 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 look at this which one would you prefer i'll need to hear this in the comment section tell me which one you prefer would you prefer this or that i mean when it's this it means you have to do a different edit but would you prefer this or that okay would you also prefer this let's go back to the background and switch something up here would you also prefer something like this let's turn this off and then do this would you prefer this or this this or that this and that or with this or this with that so tell me in the comment section which one you prefer but this is what we did this is what we learned how to do so let's keep it as it is turn this off go back to the original as we did so drop your your, your comments in the comment section I'd like to hear from you. Thank you. Okay, so there we go. This brings us to the end of today's tutorial. I hope it was very helpful. If it was, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are not already subscribed to this channel. And if you have any question, kindly leave that in the comment section and I'll respond. Have a good time.